All right, hey guys, welcome to Shoes Text. So, note taking apps. There are lots of them on the Play Store, you just have to search for that and you'll see the list. But um, for those of you who are like me, that write notes and then forget about them. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a special app that you can use to create notes that are going to be saved on your home screen as well as your locked screen. So the app we're going to be looking at today is called Hey Notes. I think it should be called a reminder app, not just a note app, because I use it for creating reminders. Before you go download the app, make sure that your wallpaper is saved on your device, because if you use the app, it's going to replace your wallpaper, both on your home screen or your lock screen, it depends on what you want, but the app is going to remove your current wallpaper, so just make sure you have that backed up somewhere. If you don't, then maybe try to look for where you got the wallpaper before you start using the app. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my screen so you can know how to use the app. All right, so these few notes that you can see on the screen are what I created using the app. And now if I lock my phone and um, unlock it, you're going to see that I have something on the lock screen. So this means you can create different reminders for your home screen and your lock screen. All right, so this is the app here, Hey Notes, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. But before you go downloading the app, let me tell you everything you need to know about the app because I've been using it for like three days and um, yeah, it's maybe confusing in the beginning, but eventually you get used to it. But let me just show you guys what I know. So open up the app after you're done downloading it and then these are the terms and conditions. And then tap on Agree, then tap on Allow, and now you're free to start creating notes. You have two options up here. The first one is for the home screen, while the second one is for the lock screen. Now, any notes you create here will be saved to your home screen, and then on the other part, it will be saved on your lock screen. So let's start with the sample of the app. So you see this plus button down here, you want to tap on it, and then you tap on new note. So for this one, I'm just going to say first thing. I mean, that's just what's coming to my head now. I'm not being creative right now. So as you can see, it has created the first note for you and some of you may think it's too big. You can just scroll down a bit and then you can adjust the size from here, font size, and um, the radius of the background. And then you can adjust the transparency. I don't use this and I don't use the rotate button. You can change the font color if you want, which means the color of the text. This is pink, right? Anyway, so you can see the text has changed color. So now you can do all sorts of customizations. And when you're done, you just tap on the check mark and then you tap on apply. But before I tap on apply, I want you to see my home screen. This is what my home screen looks like right now. So I'll go back to the app and tap apply. And now it will set the wallpaper as this. So that means I've lost my wallpaper. If you haven't saved your wallpaper, that means you lose it unless you have a backup of it. And you can't edit it from here because to your phone, this is just a picture, not a widget. So now we have created the first note for the home screen. Now let's move to the lock screen and then do the same thing. Now if I tap on the plus button again, I can tap on existing note to see the, the notes that I've created before. And if what I want isn't here, I can just tap outside the box. And then I'll tap on this button here, notes, and then tap the plus button again. And then I'm going to create a list of things I would want to see on my lock screen. So let's say buy milk. So as you can see, I've created three more things to the list and um, they might not be ideal things to talk about, but I'm just giving you guys examples. Now we'll go back to wallpaper. Since we are on the lock screen, we can just tap on the plus button and then tap existing note. And now I have all these ones. So I'll tap on buy milk and put it where I want it to be. Tap on the plus button again. Uh, maybe call teacher and put it where I want it to be. So after you're done, you tap the apply button. I forgot to mention that this app comes supported with ads because it's free anyways. If I lock and unlock the phone, you're going to see that I have the um, notes on the lock screen. If you don't want a note anymore, you can long press on it and then you tap on delete. After deleting, you have to apply the wallpaper again for it to work and um, this is another ad. So each time you delete any notes from the screen, if you tap on your notes button, you're going to see the notes again. But if you delete the note from here, maybe by accident, if you want to see it again, you tap on this button on the top left and then you tap on trash and you'll see it there. So from here, you can restore it if you want or you can permanently delete it. I think I'll restore it so you guys can see that it's back. All right, so finally, if you have a wallpaper that you want to use, including the notes, you want to tap on this button up here, and then you tap on image. And then from there, you're going to look for the image you want. So for this one, I want to use this image as my home screen. 
and then tap on the check button and I can adjust this one maybe down here and then that's it I'll tap on apply and if I go back to the home screen you'll see that uh, the wallpaper also has an image all right so that's basically all for the app if you guys enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up if you guys have questions just let me know in the comments and I'll try to respond as fast as I can I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe and bye-bye.